Hello and welcome to another update video about Gala. So with Gala, I'm currently looking at the option that this year might be the B wave in a larger wave five. Let me just zoom out a little bit. We continue to be in this, yeah, in this ascending broadening wedge covered yesterday, two trade setups um, that was actually on Saturday already that worked out. And here the one, the reversal area yesterday worked out as well. Um, mentioned to you in the last update, maybe just to move up your stop loss a little bit so that you could uh, get stopped out and break even or at a clear uh, or at a slight profit. Um, at the moment, it doesn't seem to be that we come down directly and will break it. We are consolidating on a fairly high level. We've just come back to the 38.2 FIB level here and we are holding it now. So what I cannot rule out is that the wave A is still ongoing. And that this is um, here only a three, you know, if if we went to the lower time frame, we could possibly, we can we can make the case for a one, two, three. This might be a four, and there should be another fifth wave in an A wave. This is sort of if we look on this time frame, we've got two scenarios basically. First scenario is that this is an A wave. We're currently coming down in a B wave, but for the B wave, we've already basically reached support. The 38.2 FIB level is a possible support for a B wave, the 50% as well, and the 61% as well. So talking here about the range between 5.56 cents and 5.36, below 5.2, I would have to say that this impulse, well, it's not an impulse, this ABC structure failed. Um, we, if you ask why ABC in wave five, it purely has to do with the situation that we are most likely here in a diagonal pattern. In a diagonal, all the subwaves are ABC structures. So for now, at the moment, as long as we hold about 5.22 cents, we can focus on higher. Ideally, somewhere in this region here in the middle that I just indicated to you, we should move higher. Now, again, this is sort of, you know, really micro counting. Again, it could also be that we need one more wave up to complete the A, but also there, we should really turn around fairly soon. Um, ideally, even as long as we stay above 5.466 cents. So the trend is clearly up. You could call this some kind of a bullish flag if we want to consider different um, different methods of TA. But here you could even argue that we, we might have broken out already, but we don't really have the volume yet to justify it, okay? Um, and then if we talk about target for the fifth wave, bit tricky because if this really is an expanding diagonal, then the wave five should be longer than the third wave. And um, if we measure that target for the third, so we would need to reach at least 6.7 cents. I would at the moment use the 6.7 cent level as some kind of orientation, but maybe we will push higher. There's even a chance to push here to the top of the um, the resistance at 7.2 cents, but I also gave you the level below which we are most likely heading down again, okay? Which would be obviously the 78.6 FIB and then a consequential break of the ascending trend line to the downside. Overall, Gala is looking fairly strong. It has been for a while. And um, what I'd like to do, what I've done on various charts at the moment, had a lot of positive feedback for that. Let's just check a few moving averages because um, moving, because they can give us a clue um, about, you know, where are we sort of in the process? Are we holding which moving average is currently providing some resistance or support? And I'm gonna add just a 50. I'm gonna add the 200 and I'm gonna change the colors, you know. Um, And I want to add the 20, where's the 20? 20 is, shouldn't be yellow. Let's make it, let's make it um, light blue. So we've got the 20 period, the 50 period and the 200 period moving averages. I'm currently on the 30 minute chart. That's a bit pointless really. So um, on the one hour chart, you can see that we are above all these moving averages. So they are providing support. Most recently here, the, the 20 period moving average provided nice support down there. Also here, where we crossed it, was quite a bullish signal. Um, what I'd like to do is the eight hours sometimes can be really useful because they often act as support and resistance. And you can see that here, 
you'd see that the you could say that the 20 and the 50 period moving averages on the eight hour they are actually providing great signals sometimes um, the reason is that you can use them very nicely as a possible cross signal now other combinations are possible right 20 and the 50 might even be lagging a little bit behind um, but here when we had a cross on the bullish cross at 2.15 cents that was basically a nice signal to let me think um i'm just something is off here sure something's off and i was thinking why this is not the day i need to change to the right yeah okay i was wondering something's off see here they had an even earlier signal so because normally what you want in a bullish cross that the shorter time frame moving average which is the 20 period is crossing above the longer time frame the 50 and they did that it was a buy signal down here basically at 1.8 cents and we haven't even had a, a sell signal since then so i'm keeping an eye on that you can do so as well they work really well in a trend on the eight hour chart the 20 and the 50 but a different combinations are possible now on the daily if we look at the daily moving averages um, we are going to get probably this so-called golden cross that many people focus about uh, focus on very soon if prices stay on that level that would be a cross of the 50 which is the yellow line above the purple which is the 200 day moving average um, which would be a golden cross so-called bullish opportunity um, it's very lagging but it's sort of a long-term signal and quite a bullish one let's see if we get there at the moment the 20 day moving average is providing dynamic support here so that's sort of worth keeping an eye on and we're certainly here in an uptrend as per the moving averages as well that they provide a great trend filter at times so yeah that's where we are still constrained by this pattern pushing higher the bulls are losing strength they have done for a while but they still push higher why do they lose strength well you can clearly see that by just looking at the um the relative strength index while we are pushing higher here we're make, making actually lower highs on the relative strength index so that is um, a bearish divergence and you can see it on the macd we have a bearish crossover from a pretty high level now it's not significant enough but this could send it into the wave two maybe not quite yet but let's see this is certainly something an indicator they only indicate yeah they don't predict but they indicate that things could be changing also, also volume is reducing a little bit here since we have been um, moving up there so the sellers aren't really selling yet but they might start soon okay that's my update about gala i hope you like the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching Bye bye